Drew, congratulations on your retirement, but also welcome back to Chargers camp, I guess I should say, kind of where it started all for you. You're out here signing footballs. Have fun today. Yeah, I had a great time getting a chance to see some former teammates mm -hmm. that, that have now ventured to the Niners and the Chargers. Most of the guys who I played with and against are now coaching, <laughs> right? Or they're in management. It just goes to show the great relationships that I've had a chance to, to make in 20 years of professional football. And it's fun to just watch those relationships evolve too. You know, I'm um, having a chance to sit with LT for a while out here. And now that we're both I guess semi-members of the media. <laughs> it's it's kind of a crazy adjustment, you know, who would have thought? Let's go back to those glory days though. 2001, what was it like getting drafted by the Chargers? It was a dream come true. What I realized through the draft process, I think you start off as a young, immature, you know, college player thinking, well, my goal is just to get drafted as high as possible. I think the competitor in you says that. What I grew to realize through the advice of many was it's not how high you get drafted, it's about going to the right team. Mm -hmm. Being in the right situation, with the right environment that's gonna put you in the best position to grow and develop and succeed. And I absolutely feel like San Diego was that place for me. The minute that I got that call from John Butler, who was the GM at the time, mm -hmm. especially having watched them pick LaDainian Tomlinson, right, with the fifth pick. LT and I go back to high school. We played right. on the same high school all-star team together. Right. We were at the Heisman together, you know, so LT and I kind of had this vision of maybe ending up on the same team, and when it happened, it was like, wow, here we go. You caught a touchdown pass from him, too. I did. I did. I'll always remember that. Raiders 03. Mm -hmm. Had to dive uh, in the dirt. <laughs> and a long six. The throwback to Breeze. And he's at the 10. He dives for the pylon. Did he make it? Yes. yes. Touchdown. <laughs> it's got to be crazy that it came to fruition like that. But yeah. like you said, you guys have kind of been linked throughout your whole career. You mentioned it. All-star high school teammates. You end up getting drafted together. You eventually become co-Walter Payton Man of the Year Award winners together. How mm -hmm. special is your bond? Very rarely do you get a chance to be around a guy who I think just epitomizes everything that you would want in a teammate and a player and a person. And that's LaDainian Tomlinson. Obviously one of the greatest running backs to ever play yeah. and with a skill set that I don't think many possessed before him and I haven't seen any really possess after him. Um, and yet just to be such a solid person. I love that, you know, here we are 20 years later, right? And well, I say 20 years later, and let's go back to high school, almost 25 yeah. years, right? <laughs> since we were playing in a, in a Texas high school football, North South All-Star game together. Um, just amazing to, to see what I think we've both been able to experience and accomplish in that time. How did those early years that you spent with the Chargers really shape who you ended up becoming as a player? It did a great deal, and a lot of it was because of the people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, being around Norv Turner early on and Mike Riley, but really the leadership on that team with Junior Seau, yeah. Rodney Harrison, just so many veteran guys that man, had been, been around so long, played a ton of football, but they knew how to work, they knew how to prepare. That had a big influence on me. Of course, Marty Schottenheimer coming in will forever be someone who, you know, I attribute so much of, I think, my growth and, and, and mindset to. I mean, playing with Phillip, it's quite the quarterback there. I was going to say, pretty wild. 04 was me, Doug, <laughs> yes. and, and uh, Philip. Yeah. Right? I mean, come on. Add up those years, right? It's right. 60 years of football. <laughs> I'm sure it's hard to pick one, but do you have a favorite play? One of the first really big wins I felt like in my career when we went to Oakland in 2002. Okay. So maybe my fifth game as a starter or something like that. <laughs> and they were, you know, they ended up going to the Super Bowl that year, right? So they were a, they were a Super Bowl favorite. And we go into, into their place and take the game to overtime. And I remember the first play in overtime was a run play that I had to check to an option play if, if we got a certain look. So we get the look and I check option. All right, okay. when do you check option in NFL football, right? And I look who the end man on the line of scrimmage in is, is Bill Romanowski. So I'm like, great, I'm gonna option pitch off Bill Romanowski. Of course, he goes to take my head off. This is gonna go well. I pitch the ball to LaDainian Thompson. He goes for about 20. Next play, big play to Tim Dwight. Next play, handoff on I think we called it 50 power. Okay. Right? Which was like Marty Schottenheimer's signature run play. <laughs> power. We run power to LaDainian Tomlinson. He takes it 20 yards into the end zone for a touchdown. So we win in overtime. Mm -hmm. And everybody in the black hole is throwing batteries <laughs> and beer and whatever else they could find at LT as he just sits in the end zone like just this. Just soaks right? it up. And it was like, that was, that was a great moment. Herbert's going to take it in for the touchdown. Welcome to the NFL. Second year quarterback, Justin Herbert. You saw him last year, had a front row seat when yeah. the Saints played the Chargers. What'd you see from him? I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone quite like him physically. 
um, at the quarterback position. Yeah. He obviously has all the traits. Now, mm -hmm. now that's not what gets the job done, but man, it really it helps. helps because <laughs> he can do things that mo a lot of people can't. He can make throws, he can make plays that a lot of guys can't. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just, there's no limitation to his game. Playing the quarterback position in the NFL is so much here and here. Your ability to lead, the presence that you step into the huddle with, your command of the offense and of the situations and making sure that everyone is aligned and on the same page, but playing fast and playing with confidence. And so much of that starts with your own preparation, your own development, all those things. But I see that growth and that you know, maturation process. There's a charisma, there's a mm -hmm. moxie to them, but also humility. There's a balance there that I just think is unique with, with a young quarterback. As, or I guess from a quarterback's perspective, where can he really take his game now in his second season? I would say it's just a, the overall efficiency of running an offense. A second year player with his second offense, right? I <laughs> mean, so he's really starting from square one with new offense, new terminology, all those things. And I'd say this, he's got a great offensive coordinator in Joe Lombardi, a guy who was my quarterback coach in, in New Orleans for 15 years, you know, almost. And Chase Daniel, yeah. who was my backup quarterback in San Diego for a long time is now you know, his backup, but a great mentor for him. I mean, I remember when Chase was a rookie in 09, Chase a 13 year veteran now. He's really got some great uh, people around him that are gonna help teach him, mm -hmm. be great sounding boards for him, because I think they recognize just what a special player he is and can be, and what a great leader he can be as well. And so I, I just think he's in a great situation. All right, good, good, good. <clears throat> and hey, listen, JJ. If you got it, like I was giving you that inside break, right? Just take it. With Joe Lombardi, what will he bring to this offense, but also how can he be a sounding board and a resource for someone like Justin yeah. Herbert? First off, I think Joe is a great football mind. I think uh, Joe taking his experience from New Orleans mm -hmm. and being with Sean Payton, who I think is one of the more brilliant minds in football, right? Pete Carmichael, who's offensive coordinator there and was a quality control guy here. <laughs> so you take his level of experience with those guys and being in a really functional offense and now being able to take that and add some elements of his own, right? Add some elements that Brandon, listen, Brandon Staley, former quarterback, right? Mm -hmm. Brandon Staley studied our offense you know, when I was with the, the Saints, I remember seeing text messages that Brandon would send Joe Lombardi <laughs> Joe. about our offense, right? Why aren't you guys doing this? What were you thinking here? Hey, aren't right? you why coaching you, defense? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but it just goes to show why Brandon Staley is so brilliant, right? Yeah. He comes at it from this offensive perspective, so he knows how to attack. You get good guys and great football minds and grinders together, you know, good things happen. And I think Joe, too, is, is a great presence and a great voice of reason at times from a quarterback perspective. He puts you in a really calm place, gives you confidence, and I think he's really gonna put Justin in, in great positions to succeed. What's maybe one thing that might set this Chargers team apart this year? One of the statistics I found really interesting about this team was they lost seven games by a possession or less, two games in overtime. So now get a, a young, talented quarterback in his second year. Herbert gonna go for it all, corner of the end zone. It is caught for the touchdown, Mike Williams. Boy, what a throw get an offense with some weapons and a really great scheme that's going to kind of fit everyone's strengths. Get a defensive minded head coach in here that's kind of, I think, breathing some new life and energy into the team. There it is. Run. Come on, tuck it and run. We're coming to hunt it now. I mean, pfft, sky's kind of the limit, you know? I think you're seeing what's being built here and they're building it the right way. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Good to see you out here. Yeah, thank you. If you want to see more content like this, check out the link right here.